I will now call this meeting to order. Our first order of business is to adopt the agenda for tonight's meeting. Commissioners, is there a motion to adopt the final agenda? I'll make a motion to adopt the final agenda. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Um, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you, the motion does carry. Um, our next order of business is that uh, we will uh, review the previous meeting minutes at our next scheduled meeting. And so we won't go through that uh, this evening. Then our first discussion item tonight is the uh, final plat and PUD rezoning Brookmore second edition. Uh, this item does include a public hearing. Uh, before opening the public hearing, I will turn it over to Nathan first, uh, planning consultant with Bolton and Mink for staff presentation. Nathan. Thank you. Good evening, uh, Chair and members of the Commission. So, uh, Brookmore Second Edition is the development in front of us. This is a final plat this evening in, in PUD. So, jumping right into this um, about this development, I'm sure that many of you may be familiar with this given time served on the Commission, but uh, here is the rough location of this development on the screen. It is just north of the Holy Family property, southeast of the intersection of Highway 5 and 13. Uh, we're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of 34 acres with approximately 25, 26 of those developable. Uh, there are 80 single family homes on this development site that, are, um, that, was, uh, that were proposed and have been approved uh, through various processes. Uh, currently, the, the remaining parcels that are undeveloped in this project are zoned ag. Uh, the request in front of the Planning Commission specifically this evening is to basically rezone those remaining, the remaining half of this development to the PUD with that underlying R1 zoning. So as a refresher for everyone, uh, really quickly, the, the major subdivision or platting process is kind of in three parts. The first part is that sketch plat and neighborhood meeting. So at that stage, we're looking at informal city and community feedback. Uh, this really provides valuable insight to the developer and the staff on the appropriateness of the development. Um, at that stage, we hold a neighborhood meeting, allowing the community to ask questions of the developer. Uh, moving on to that kind of next stage, the second stage of review, you're looking at the preliminary plat. That is where we receive, as the city, very detailed applications from the developer. Uh, we do as staff, a very focused review on all of the details of the development. That includes um, zoning, the grading of, this, of the site, utilities, right of way, roadway alignment, things like that, parks and trails and on. So that's uh, kind of that largest stage of review where we're going through the most details. Um, typically at that stage, the major entitlements are, are reviewed and approved. Uh, those include PUDs, conditional use permits, variances last stage is final plat. Um, that includes a review of the final details of the development, uh, finalization of the development agreement, and things of that nature. So really just kind of, again, finalizing those details. And I would say that is where we are this evening with this project. So finalizing the, the detail, details. Um, the other thing to talk through really quickly is the planned unit development process or PUD as it's often called. The purpose of this in the city's code is to allow for innovative, creative, and flexible development sensitive to environmental, cultural, and economic considerations uh, where the city receives some basically public values. So the process for this is actually kind of concurrent with that subdivision process. We look at the sketch plat and we say this seems to meet the criteria for a PUD and work through those details and review them at the preliminary plat and then finalize them at the final plat. So again, that's what we're doing here this evening is finalizing this PUD. So uh, Brookmore um, was initially reviewed in 2022 in January of that year, already a year ago. Um, the preliminary plat was approved that spring and then the, the first edition of this development, the final plat was approved by the city last fall. So breaking it down, the preliminary plat uh, is what you see on the screen in front of you. Uh, this is again 80 single family homes. You'll see outlot A is a city park. Um, that was accepted during that first edition. And then uh, and that's 
So Cochia Lane is running north and south in the center of this development. So the first edition is west of that. And then this second edition that we're looking at this evening is directly to the east. Um, it will include out lot E and C on this plan. So moving on. I should mention that the city approved uh, the preliminary plot with the condition that the developer bring back the development with some basically adjustment to reduce the speeds along Cochia, and so that's what the developer did. They incorporated a, it's called a chicane into their, their plans that's right on Cochia Lane there. Essentially, it's just a curve to slow down traffic speeds. Uh, the rest of the development is um, compatible with what was uh, approved by the city during the preliminary plat process. Okay, so just re rehashing this, this would be the first edition. This was approved by the city in September of 22. And lastly, this is the second edition. This is what we're looking at currently. So this is, uh, I think, 23 homes on this uh, particular final plat. You're looking at um, the extension of the city and way through this development, um, connection to surrounding roadways or planned future roadways, and then outlot A in the north of this development will be a stormwater pond that will be managing all the stormwater for the site. And then outlot B will be a basically a conservation outlot that's just kept wild into perpetuity to conserve the wetland that's located on that small chunk of land. So uh, really quickly at a high level, these are the, the zoning regulations that were approved by the city during the preliminary plat process. They were this, these are the same um, standards that were adopted for the part of this development that is west of Cochia, so the first edition. So they're, the developer is bringing back the same exact standards that have been approved previously by the city. OK, so when we get a final plat, uh, we're, we are doing a planning and zoning review. Um, we have looked at all of these things already and um, determined that they meet what the city had approved in the preliminary plat and what it was expecting with this submittal. <clears throat> That's the number of units and the density, the landscaping, tree mitigation <clears throat> plan, buffers and berms, parks and parkland dedication, and sidewalks. Okay, and so engineering review. City engineer has also looked at the final plat and the final construction plans for a number of different details, not limited to grading, drainage, and erosion, streets, street alignments, utilities, connections like that, and landscaping. So uh, here again is that kind of second, uh, second phase of the development. Of course, the second edition, which we'll be looking at this evening, is only about half of this. So in the staff report, we identified the kind of three key conditions of the preliminary plat approval. Uh, the rest are very, I would say, standard. Um, the conditions for preliminary plat approval have or will be met through this process. So uh, with all of that in mind, staff is recommending approval of this to um, to you this evening for, for your recommendation to the City Council, and then ultimately we'll recommend the City Council approves it, given the conformance with all of those approvals that have been given to date and the expectations for the property. Uh, we do recommend conditions of approval. These are more or less standard. Um, these just ensure that the development um, meets the City's expectations for how development needs to move forward. So um, we have a sample motion for you. Uh, this would recommend approval to the City Council. Uh, that's all I have prepared for you. I'm happy to take any questions that you have. Very good. Thank you, Nathan. Um, and we will, uh, we will formally open, uh, because it is a public hearing, we'll formally open the public hearing. Um, is there anyone in the chambers that would like to uh, comment on this item? Uh, hearing none. Um, I will now call for a uh, motion to close the public hearing. We'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Is there a second? Second. Excellent. Thank you very much. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Thank you. Uh, I'll now open the floor to planning to the planning commission to discuss. Uh, commissioners, any questions or comments? Is this always a PUD? We've done so many, I can't remember all of them. And that's when I was looking at it, I was like, was this always this? And Yeah, I would make one, one kind of editorial comment on this. Um, typically, you'll see 
the planned unit, like the PUD, will be established for the entire development in the first phase. And so we will effectively rezone the whole project site. In this case, it was only done for the first edition. And so we had to bring it back to you and the city council for the PUD because we have to establish it basically on this, this separate map. So that's gotcha. Yeah. And basically, the reason for the PUD is that the lots are a little bit smaller than what our ordinance says, correct? That's correct. Yep. They're requesting some flexibility from the city's adopted standards. Okay. I like the chicane for the cochia. Um, see how it works out. Might turn into a jump, or hopefully it'll slow people down. Yeah, that will be a uh, through street, won't it? The um, it'll be the main access to Holy Family. Yep. Yeah. It will. Yep. There will probably be some stop signs put in it. Oh, eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Um, gentlemen, any um, any questions, any comments, any thoughts on it? Maybe we you know, have a nice little discussion beforehand. Just excellent. To make sure things work out. Yep, yep, very good, very good. Uh, any Anything else before we close this out? Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend the city approval Brookmore second edition and final PUD rezoning with conditions as presented and discussed. Excellent. Is there a second? Second. Very good. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. The motion does carry. Um, you're probably pretty close to uh, 620. <laughs> so the um, so the other miscellaneous item is the uh, I was at the uh, last city council meeting, and it was a relatively short city council meeting also, and the agenda was. Um, my presentation uh, representing the Planning Commission to the City Council and um, it seemed to have been well received thank you very much Jen for for uh, the format for it at the same time uh, the uh, the gentleman uh, Larry from uh, Park and Rec did a presentation and and both were both were re well received no questions I think everything is is flowing um, was the was the feedback that um, that I heard one of our past members of the planning commission uh, had some some nice comments quite frankly at the same time so um, the uh, the other uh, the third agenda item was um, the uh, mediacom contract extension and uh, and it was a public it was a public hearing and there was no one from the public to have any comments and I thought it was rather for me it was rather interesting because uh, MediaCom in this in this neighborhood website uh, really is much maligned on a on a regular basis and the feedback that I get from many sources is that. Um, that's probably true, but uh, but they're they're better than most. So there was no there was no discussion on that at all, and um, and they did um, they did approve the uh, the contract. And it's a um, technology is changing dramatically. So that will um, um, MediaCom will will have competition. From other sources of of technology, um, the uh, the fifth item that they had was the uh, strategic plan for uh, 2021 through 2023, and it was a um, it was a review of the um, um, of the components, and um, it was discussion only. And there was no genuine disagreement on, or much of any any concern on it at the same time. Uh, one of the other items that came up that was on the agenda was downtown West uh, development, and um, they did approve the improvements for the infrastructure um, improvements for downtown West, 
And at uh, and then uh, finally at 7:35 the meeting was adjourned. And that's uh, that's a report on uh, on the city council activity. Um, staff, is there any um, any any items? Not at all. Uh, commissioners, any? I just had one. Was there any? Um resolution as to is as if the city council would like attendance from the um, planning commission at each meeting commissioner Pedersen members of the commission um, I did speak with uh, city manager Dana and some council members and they just didn't see a reason to continue that process mostly because we have the ability to watch the videos mm -hmm. um, and staff me personally are at the city council meetings on your behalf um, and most cities don't continue that process so that's where they they left that. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Anyone else? Any any questions? Any any concerns? Uh, hearing none. There's no other um, items that's uh, coming before the commission this evening. Commissioners, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Meeting is adjourned. That's six fifty.